Do you know, um, I've been asked a few times uh, with regard to Scientology, what was it that woke you up? What was it that made you realise that it was actually all a con? And I often say that it was like a lot of research and it just sort of culminated in, you know, a realisation. But in actual fact, what it was for me was discovering that L. Ron Hubbard was in fact a liar with the proof in front of me. Um, because I realised there were things wrong within Scientology itself. But I always held the view that there was something wonderful about the technology that L. Ron Hubbard had supposedly discovered. So to, dis to find out that he was a fraud and a con man and a liar is what really did it for me. That's what, that was the waking up moment, if you like. Um, everything about his life is a lie. From his childhood, when he claims to have been made a blood brother of the Blackfeet Indians, to his Boy Scout history his college history, his expeditions to various places. That, that uh. And I got all my information from um, John Atak, from Arnie Lerner, from Mark Plummer, from Jerry Armstrong, and from Ben Corridon. And those guys are just amazing. And I'd like to thank them all for helping me recover from my years of entrapment in the Scientology mind slave prison. So yeah, um, for any Scientologists watching this, you know, I don't know what's going to be the make break point for you, but when I found out that Hubbard was a liar and saw the evidence in front of me, um, I, I mean, actually, the, there is video ev evidence of Hubbard lying if you watch the channel, for, no, not channel, for Granada documentary, The Shrinking World of L. Ron Hubbard. It's on YouTube. He actually lies twice on, sorry, three times on camera. And that's just what I noticed. So it's possible he could have lied a lot more. But um, yeah, to hold somebody up in high regard that, that turns out to be a liar and lied about everything. He lied about his Dianetics research. It didn't happen. He lied about uh, making clears. And he admits this. If, if you look at the clearing congress, he actually admits that he's been lying Um he claims he made clears before 1950. He claims in 1958 that he lied, uh, but he can now make clears. And in 1966, he announces John McMaster as the first clear. So Hubbard was a fucking liar, okay? And that's what did it for me. That's what woke me up. What it's going to take to wake the rest of Scientology up, I have no idea. But what did it for me? Finding out that L. Ron Hubbard was nothing but a liar.